here's an unknown fan. This was, I think what this was, was some sort of 1980s air freshener kind of thing. It's got a shaded pole motor here. Okay, you can see it in there. Nothing really special. Maybe that used to clip in there. I don't know. Perhaps. I, I don't know if it did. Uh, this is as found. I used to have this on my night table back in my parents' house years ago. Uh, air conditioning was so much of a luxury we could almost never have it. So I made do with uh, either a box fan or an oscillating fan and this because it just wasn't enough. This was for those nights where it was just warm and I just needed a little airflow on me. Uh, it's dusty and dirty and like I said, I think it was an air freshener. There's these four little ears here. You see them? And you would snap in some sort of cartridge or something. There was a whole housing that fit over this and it was on a slant. So the air would kind of come up and out this way or something. Um, I, I never had the cartridges. You'll never find them. Nor would they smell like anything after this amount of time. It's got a regular switch here. And I didn't need the rest of the housing on it because I took it apart. And I found that this was perfect for an intended purpose. Uh, there's no markings on this whatsoever anywhere. So I really, this is a total mystery fan, is all I can tell you. It's a complete and total mystery. What does that say? Taya? Something like that. Non-polarized plug, just to show how old this thing actually is. And uh, I have not run this for... I don't know how many years, forever, <laughs> that's really all I can tell you. Uh, the way I had this is I had it on my night table, I think this way, it just laid this way or this way, one of the two, and it would just sit there and it would just blow air kind of at my face and that was it. So let's just get it powered on and see if it still even works. Let's try it this way. Oh, it does. It uses 12 whole watts. It's got a little bit of a rattle to it. It, it started doing that. But you'll notice this is a little bit noisy. There's the rattle. But you'll notice it's a little bit noisy. So I couldn't sleep with that. So what I did was I had my lamp and this thing plugged into a touch lamp control. It was a module that would plug in the outlet. And then I had an extension cord and this was plugged in as, as well as my lamp. And you would touch the lamp and the lamp would go on. And if the switch on here was on, that would go on. And obviously you could shut the switch on the lamp and that was that. And you'd touch any metal. So I could touch the lamp or I found I could just touch the center of the motor and that would also activate it so it had like a low medium and high kind of thing I think I used it on low but I'm not certain I really don't remember but um, what we're gonna do is use our anemometer which is spinning ever so slightly to find out exactly how much air this thing actually moves it's not a lot so it's set to feet per minute, I guess, and we'll go, we set about six inches away, maybe about there is about six inches, and it's not even moving it out here, just barely if you get it in the right spot, 433, 492, and if I move it closer, obviously, you'll get more out of it. The air, it, it's, it's not a lot of air. Uh, 
about here you can just barely feel it but if you come a bit to the side you can feel it here so it was perfect because my head would be here and this fan would be there so it would kind of blow out on the diagonal like this and that was pretty good it, it really did work for its intended purpose when I put it down it gets quieter and the rattle goes away but I always used it this way and it rattled so that was that I've never serviced this never oiled it and that's it we'll turn it on once again and watch the wattage draw just 13 and 12 that's it nothing spectacular really doesn't move much air and that was it it was just an oddball piece and I still have it and I have no idea what the hell to do with it because with the advent of central air I, I don't need that kind anymore so I don't know what to do with it so it'll probably sit in the garage because all good things end up in your basement Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.